Hello, second grade. It is time for normally we would do our read aloud in our knowledge lesson. Um, but today we have the thumbs up, thumbs down sheet. Okay, I want you to do your best. All right, there's, there's just what I'd like to do is just read the things, read some true false statements. I want you to give me a thumbs up if what I read is true. Thumbs down if what I read is not true, if what I say is wrong, okay? Uh, this just is kind of my due diligence. I need to follow up and see if you guys retained or learned what you learned about the Civil War. Um, it's very important, part of our history, and we need to at least recall the things that happened during that. So um, do your best on here. If you struggle with them or if you can't remember, it's okay. It's all right. So, in fact, if you can't remember, just leave it blank, okay? And I totally understand. You know, it was a month ago when we started this, and there was some time in between, and so if, if you don't remember, you're not going to get penalized. It's just more for me to see, you know, how well I did, if I did a good job or if I didn't do a good job teaching it to you. So, do your best. So, we have the the two pages of the thumbs up, thumbs down, there's 15. After that, I will describe something that one of these people did, and you need to choose which person I'm talking about. Okay? And then we, have, we can answer the questions. There's two pages of the questions. This is going to take you a little while. All right? This is part of your busy work, and it's going to take a little while. So... Um, probably the, the most writing you're going to do for at least our knowledge and um, history lesson, reading lesson, read a lot. So here we go. So make sure your name is on your paper. You know what? We don't need privacy screens. We don't need those orange folders, right? Because there's nobody else. And if you'd like, you can even ask mom and dad for help. They might, they might enjoy helping you. It might be fun. So... And then when you get this back, um, you'll see. So here we go. So number one. Before I begin, I do this all the time, don't I? Before I begin, if you have trouble with one or you can't remember, because a lot of times you'll say, what was number five? Okay. You can pause and go back. I will be very clear on which question I am on on every single one of them, if that helps. Okay. So, number one, number one. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Here we go. Number one. The word is plantations. Are plantations large farms where crops are raised? Thumbs up if that's yes. Thumbs down if that's no. Okay, I'll repeat it. Number one says, are plantations large farms where crops are raised? Thumbs up for yes. Thumbs down for no. Right on there, all right? Number two, I need my nerd glasses. The word is slavery. In slavery, is the enslaved person paid for his or her work? In slavery, is the person that is a slave paid for their work, for the work they do? Do they get paid for it? Thumbs up for yes, thumbs down for no. Yes, they get paid. No, they don't get paid in slavery. Number three. The word is abolitionists. Abolitionists. Did, abol did abolitionists want to keep slavery? Thumbs up for yes, thumbs down for no. Did abolitionists want to keep slavery? Yes, they wanted to keep slavery, or no, they didn't want to keep slavery. Okay? All right. Number four. These are all words that we've, we've gone over. Number four is, the word is economy. Economy. Did the northern economy depend more on factories and the southern economy depend more on growing crops? 
Thumbs up for yes, thumbs down for no. I'll read it again. This is number four. Did the northern economy depend more on factories and the southern economy depend more on growing crops? Thumbs up for yes and thumbs down for no. All right. Number five. Number five. The word for number five is confederacy. Was the confederacy the collection of northern states that did not succeed from the United States? So number five, is the, was the confederacy the collection of northern states that did not, that did not succeed from the United States? Thumbs up or thumbs down? So the question is, are the North the Confederacy? Thumbs up for yes, thumbs down for no. All right, please follow along. Number six. The word is union. Was the union made up of northern states that did not succeed from the United States? Was the union made up of northern states that did not succeed from the United States? So five and six are similar. One is on Confederacy, one is union. So number five, or excuse me, number six, was the union made up of northern states that did not succeed from the United States? Thumbs up for yes, thumbs down for no. Number seven. Number seven is civil war. Is a civil war between different groups of people or regions within one country? Thumbs up for yes, thumbs down for no. So the question is asking, is the civil war within one country? I'll read the question again. This is number seven. Is a civil war between different groups of people or regions within one country? Thumbs up for yes, thumbs down for no. All right, number eight. The word is rebels. Were the rebels the Union soldiers? Thumbs up for yes, thumbs down for no. Number eight, I'll say it again. Number eight, were the rebels the Union soldiers? Thumbs up for yes, thumbs down for no. Number nine, number nine. The Emancipation Proclamation. Okay, this question is on the Emancipation Proclamation. Did the Emancipation Proclamation say that slavery would be abolished in the Confederate States? Thumbs up for yes, thumbs down for no. I'll read the question again. This is number nine. Did the Emancipation Proclamation say that slavery would be abolished in the Confederate States? Thumbs up for yes, thumbs down for no. Number 10. The word is Yankees. Did the Yankees fight for the Union? Thumbs up for yes, thumbs down for no. Number 10 is, did the Yankees fight for the Union? Thumbs up for yes, thumbs down for no. So you should be done with this page. Next page, page right here, we're on number 11. Number 11. Now I'm just going to go over some vocabulary words, or just some words that we talked about. The next word is value. Value. Does a broken pencil have great value when you're trying to take a test? Thumbs up for yes, thumbs down for no. The question is, again, on number 11, 
Does a broken pencil have great value when you're trying to take a test? Does it have great value? Thumbs up for yes, thumbs down for no. The next one, you should know this one. Number 12, the word is expand, expand. Will a balloon pop if it continues to expand too far? Thumbs up for yes, thumbs down for no. Number 12, again. Will a balloon pop if it continues to expand too far? Thumbs up for yes, thumbs down for no. All right, number 13, 13. The word is issue, issue. Hmm. Was the issue of slavery one of the main causes of the Civil War? Thumbs up for yes, thumbs down for no. Number 13, I'll read the question again. Was the issue of slavery one of the main causes of the Civil War? Thumbs up for yes, thumbs down for no. All right, number 14. The word is advisors, advisors. Here we go, number 14. Did President Lincoln use many advisors to help him make decisions during his presidency? Thumbs up for yes, thumbs down for no. Remember, we talked about advisors and what they do. So this is number 14. Here's the question again. Did President Lincoln use many advisors to help him make decisions during his presidency? Thumbs up for yes, thumbs down for no. And number 15. The word is defeat, not defeat, but defeat. When a team loses a game, we can say they experience defeat. Is that yet true, yes or no? Again, this is number 15. When a team loses a game, can we say they experienced a defeat? Thumbs up for yes, thumbs down for no. Defeat. All right, this is fun. This is my favorite part of this whole thing, okay? I'm going to read the description of 10 people and I want you to just circle which one I talk about. So, we'll do number one together, okay? Just so you understand. Number one, the question is, or the description is, this is number one on this part right here. I was president during the Civil War. Is it Barton, Lincoln, or Grant? Barton, Lincoln, or Grant? I was president during the Civil War. Well, we should know that. I wore that hat every day almost. Almost. Lincoln. So you would circle Lincoln as in Abraham Lincoln. So it's just their last names. Number two on this sheet. Number two. I'll put my finger by it so you can see it. Number two. I commanded the Confederate Army. I commanded the Confederate Army. Was it Lee, Robert E. Lee, Ulysses Grant, or Harriet Tubman? Circle whichever one you did. It is. Circle which one. I commanded the Confederate Army. Was it Lee, Grant, or Tubman? Number three. I was conductor of the Underground Railroad. This is number three, where my finger is. I was conductor of the Underground Railroad. Was it Claire Barton, Harriet Tubman, or Abraham Lincoln? Who conducted the Underground Railroad? Now, this might be a tough one because it was a long time ago when we did this one. But was it Abraham Lincoln, hmm. Harriet Tubman, or Claire Barton? Number four, 
Number four, I commanded the Union Army, the Union Army. Was that Lincoln, Grant, or Lee? Abraham Lincoln, Ulysses S. Grant, or Robert E. Lee commanded the Union Army? Do your best. All right, number five. I'm holding my finger next to the number five because that's which one we're on. I helped wounded soldiers get the medical supplies and cared and cared for them. Lincoln, Lincoln, or Barton? Oh my gosh. You guys better get this one right. Abraham Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln, or Claire Barton? Number six. Number six. I wrote the Emancipation Proclamation. I wrote the Emancipation Proclamation. This is number six. Was it Abraham Lincoln, Ulysses S. Grant, or Robert E. Lee? Who wrote the Emancipation, Emancipation Proclamation? Hmm. Remember, it was read under a tree. But who wrote it? Number seven. I was an enslaved African who escaped to Pennsylvania to gain my freedom. Is that Clara Barton, Harriet Tubman, or Ulysses S. Grant? Number seven again was, I was an enslaved African who escaped to Pennsylvania to gain my freedom. All right. Circle which one that is. Number eight. I'm trying to keep my finger on the number we're on to help you out. Number eight. I surrendered to General Grant at Apodomax. I surrender to General Grant at Apomatex. Apomatex. Was that Abraham Lincoln, Harriet Tubman, or Robert E. Lee? Number nine. Number nine. I founded the American Red Cross. That's number nine. Is that Clara Barton? Harriet Tubman or Abraham Lincoln. I founded the American Red Cross. And I'm gonna move on to number 10. Number 10, I was a spy for the Union Army because I knew the roads and secret trails around Maryland and Pennsylvania. I was a spy for the Union Army because I knew the roads and the secret trails around Maryland and Pennsylvania. We read that, yes, I think yesterday. Abraham Lincoln, Claire Barton, or Harriet Tubman? Which one? All right. Okay. Okay. So, the next questions. I am going to read each question. If you want help from mom and dad to read the questions to you, you can too. So I will read the question. If I were you, I would pause, and write the answer to your question, and then play again when you're ready to move on. Because I'm not going to sit and wait, you know, five minutes for each question. This video will be in like an hour long if that's the case. So I will read the question. Go ahead and hit pause. Answer it, and then hit play when you're ready to move on, okay? I think that's the best way to do this. Do your best, all right? Here we go. Number one on this page, number one. How was the song Follow the Drinking Gourd important during the time of the U.S. Civil War? The Drinking Gourd, how was that important? I was gone that day, you had... Um, what's her name? Miss Bickle. Miss Bickle was, was the substitute teacher that day. Okay. How is the song Follow the Drinking Gourd important during the U.S. Civil War? Now, if you want to answer that, take some time, press pause, 
answer the question, and then when you're ready to move on, press play again. So number two, number two. What was the Underground Railroad? What was the Underground Railroad? That's number two. What was the Underground Railroad? Miss Bickle's first name was Marsha, so it's Miss Marsha or Miss Miss Bickle. And she did that one while I was gone as well. Okay. Go ahead and pause me if you would like. Number three. Number three. What was the cause of the U.S. Civil War? What was the cause of the U.S. Civil War? You can just use one word in that answer. What was the cause? There were maybe many, but one main word. You don't have to write a complete sentence. One word. What was the cause of the U.S. Civil War? Put me on pause. Number four. List two ways that the North and the South were different. So you can just write number one and number two. How were the North and the South different? We talked about lots of things. The South wanted something, the North did not. The South had, the North had, for its economy, the South had some things and the North had some things. Okay? That is number four. So put me on pause while you write it. Number five. Number five. Why did some southern states succeed or break away from the United States? Why did some southern states succeed or break away from the United States? Why did they? Because of... It can be very short. Put me on pause. Okay. Number six. Number six. Why did the end of the U.S. Civil War mean... What did the end of the U.S. Civil War mean for the North and the South and for enslaved Americans? So basically just tell me what happened at the end of the Civil War. What did it mean? So number six, I'm just going to, the word is paraphrase. I'm just going to reword the question. What did the end of the Civil War mean? What happened because of the Civil War ending? Put me on pause, answer the question. And number seven, this is the answer I like to see the best. Number seven, what was the most interesting thing you learned about the Civil War? This is my favorite thing that you guys write in any of your assessments. What was the most interesting thing that you learned about the Civil War? I love to see the answers to these questions. And we do this at the end of every one of them. What was the most important thing you learned? So that is our assessment. Get this filled out. Get it sent back to me. And I'd love to see it. I'd love to see what your favorite things were. And just love to see what you learned, what you liked and didn't like. So, hope you're all doing well. We're going to do handwriting next, and that will be the end of our day. Bye, guys.